Today, MTD CNC are in Germany. We're at Huachon Europe. This is the headquarters, uh, the European headquarters for the sales of the Huachon machines. Of course, available in the UK uh, through Ward High Tech. I'm with Stefan. Uh, I'm very, very interested in this machine here, Stefan. This is the M3. This is quite a new model to Huachon, isn't it? Yes, this is a new model. Um, the M3 is the uh, successor of the M2, and we uh, published it last year on the EMO exhibition in Hannover and uh, also uh, the bigger model, uh, model, the M4. When I look at five-axis machines, there is so many of them in the marketplace. We've been talking about a few mm. of the competition this morning before we conducted this interview. Where do you position this machine when competing with some of those other big brands? Mm -hmm. um, how does it fare? Yeah, um, as um, at all machines, uh, Machong produces, um, we have a very... Um, um, high weighted machine bed and uh, uh, high rigidity. It's 21 tons, isn't it? In this case, it's 21 tons, yes, and this is uh, above average of the competitors. Okay, what about then, you also uh, went on, and I'm sure you would uh, without me of interrupting you there, about the build of the machine and how it's configured. Tell mm -hmm. me about the Y axis, uh, the shoes on the linear rails, mm -hmm. and things yes. like that. Yeah. Um, this machine is, um, has in the uh, Y axis a twin drive um, as well as in the A axis. So the rotary table here has two uh, axes for the rotations, and we have three linear axes at the top which make the linear movements. And yes, uh, the special thing here on the uh, construction is that we have six uh, uh, shoes on the Y axis guideways. And, um, what, yeah. does that give, what does that give the machine? Yeah, it uh, uh, increases the surface uh, for, uh, the, um, of the connected parts, the moving part and the machine bed. And uh, we want to, want to have a high surface to lead the vibrations into the machine bed, which absorbs them and uh, yeah, uh, increases the... Um, well, because the machine bed is 21 tons, so it kind of le dissipates into the machine casting, so you don't get any vibration in the machine in operation. Uh, less vibrations. As of course, there are some vibrations, but uh, you can uh, see it on the two lifetimes that it's increased, and also the surface quality is uh, with low, uh, less vibrations, always better. Also, the longevity of the machine and the accuracy of the part would they be features that you would highlight as well? Uh, yes, this is a very high accurate machine, and we do our best to compensate uh, uh, warmth, uh, warming of the machine uh, with uh, direct or uh, linear scales in all axes and also we are measuring the temperature at the spinal and in the machine bed so we can uh, yeah, calculate the increase in length in each axis and compensate them with an NC controller. So we've discovered that they've, they've put a lot of time and effort into making this a highly accurate machine. Mm -hmm. It's quite a fast machine as well, isn't it? I believe it, you, you've got a 14,000 spindle with an option to go faster as well. Yes, yes. Uh, by default, it's, uh, in the standard, we have 20,000 RPM in the spinal. Uh, can also be extended to 24,000. And yeah, we have a very uh, uh, fast moving machine with uh, 48 uh, meter, per, uh, meter per minute rapid speed. That's uh, quite well. Uh, yeah. So. And the, the, uh, so the sort of applications where this machine, we've got quite an impressive component in here on this machine at the moment, but where do, where do you sell these into? What sort of marketplaces? Yes, uh, in this case, the M3 is um, yeah, a candidate for diamond mold manufacturers but can also be used for uh, high precision parts, uh, like in the optical industry, for example, everywhere where you have uh, uh, the need to process uh, five sides of a workpiece. Where, where is the tools uh, changer in this machine? Uh, it's uh, in the back side of a machine. You see uh, behind the table, there is a door uh, which opens uh, when you have to change the tools. And um, yeah, the, it's a chain type uh, tool changer. Quite neatly tucked away there, isn't it? It doesn't get in the way of the working envelope at all. No, uh, there are no uh, collisions, uh, collision areas with this tool changer because it's hidden in the backside. Uh, and then, and then when the um, when you're machining here, I notice as well the swarf all falls into one central sort of uh, valley at the bottom, doesn't it? Yes, uh, we try to remove uh, warm chips as fast as we can. So in this case, we move it uh, to the left hand side. And does this machine come? As standard with uh, high pressure coolant and um, and also bed uh, wash around the machine, are they all standard features? Um, we have um, a 40 uh, bar uh, inner coolant in this case. It's a default feature, and um, yeah, but many customers now prefer the uh, uh, minimal lubrication systems uh, to uh, because it's more environmentally friendly and uh, has some 
advantage. It, it, it's, it's, it's a big plus spindle as well. I know it's a dual contact yes. spindle, so you've got a face and taper contact, haven't you? Again, which helps with that accuracy? Yeah, uh, in this case of uh, uh, high rotations, require that we have um, um, a HSK um, tool taper or a big plus. But uh, yeah, we need uh, for the strong uh, forces, um, in some cases, of additional contact. And uh, f finally, Stefan, you, your control system you're using here is the, the latest Heidenhain control. Exactly. Is, is there a, a variety of options with controls from the Huachon on the uh, M series? Yes, yes. Uh, Heidenhain has very many uh, options for uh, their controllers, um, but we also uh, provide for this machine a Fanuc 31 uh, controller, so we can serve all and have you, you, you're very knowledgeable, have you used this machine? Because I mean, I'm just going to walk in here now. I mean, this is, you know, in terms of accessibility, this is, a, this is a, a great from an operator's perspective, isn't it? Yes, you are very close to the workpiece and uh, the loading of a machine by crane is very uh, easily done. You just remove the roof here and then you can load it by crane. And you, and you have probing at the back of the machine again, which is out of the way of the working area. Yes, exactly. To, to measure the tools, it's also in the backside to protect it from ships and moving parts. It's lucky I'm very slim, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to fit in there, <laughs> would I? <laughs> yes, yes. Sir. Thank you very much for your time. It's been very, uh, just, just, just to recap then, so this is the M3, there is an M2 and an M4 as well. Yes, there is an M4. Uh, the M4 is a little bit different because in uh, this case we have uh, three uh, guideways in the X-axis and uh, also a boxway guideways in the Z-axis and a high torque spindle with 1000 Newton meter which is uh, very single on the market to have uh, such high torque and uh, yeah, strong. So there we have it, if you're looking for a highly agile, highly accurate, dynamic 5-axis machine, uh, new from Huachon, this is actually the M3, available in the UK from Ward High Tech in Sheffield. There is a, an M2, an M3 and an M4 version. Uh, and as you've seen here, a pretty dynamic and high performance five axis machining center.